As Dr. Hamza Rafiq said, the most effective way to control the spread of disease and ensure that people enjoy better quality of life is to understand the source of the problem. That is the reason why the Caribbean Epidemiology Center, CAREC, works hand in hand with all countries of the Caribbean in the surveillance, prevention and control of communicable diseases and in the development of health promotion programs. The Caribbean Epidemiology Center, CAREC, works directly with all 21 member countries of the Caribbean region to improve the health condition of their people by advancing the capability in epidemiology, laboratory technology and related public health disciplines through technical cooperation, service, training, research and a knowledgeable and motivated staff. One of the major focus has, for CARIC has been the, the fact of how can CARIC be more meaningful to the countries. And as we know that we are in changing times, so institutions have to change to be more relevant. And so CARIC has become more focused in what they have to do and the quality that they have to provide it in order for one to have a population that is in the best of health. So CARIC has to look at all the different issues and be able to assist countries accordingly. But one of the major ones as a public health surveillance institution is to ensure that countries are able to identify, have the capacity to identify the organism and to respond as quickly as possible. Well, the surveillance and the lab go very much hand in hand. Without the laboratory, it's very difficult for surveillance to be able to do its work because we will essentially have nothing to have under surveillance without lab support. So the two are very much interlinked. Um, recently, last two years, four years, the international health regulations were revised and under those regulations, which all our member countries subscribe to, countries are committed to strengthen their surveillance systems to be able to have early detection of any public health emergencies of international concern. So from a legal standpoint, in terms of complying with international health regulations, surveillance is very important. And also, of course, for the prevention and control of any diseases, surveillance is very important because that is the way that you will be able to detect very early when you have a problem. And of course, the earlier you know what's going on, the quicker you can respond and prevent and control outbreaks and increases in diseases and deaths. CARAC also provides laboratory reference, epidemiological and statistical analysis, including situational analysis and trend assessment for all 21 member countries in the Caribbean. During CARAC's early years, malaria, yellow fever, Tuberculosis and measles were major preoccupations of the institution. Today, emerging and re-emerging diseases such as AIDS, dengue and the influenza H1N1 have reassured the importance of the services provided by CAREC to the Caribbean people. In 2009 and 2010, where we had a pandemic, influenza pandemic, and so CARIC had to respond very quickly with diagnostic, and not only diagnostic, but to be able to support the ministries of health that what you're doing, you're doing very well. The H1N1 brought a new trust to us as far as epidemiology in the center. Even though we were prepared a long while ago for such a pandemic, it sort of brought together all the players within the, the sector, an intersectoral relationship within the Caribbean. And CARIC was one of the, the focal points. As far as the surveillance and lab activity, we also help the guidance as far as reporting, informing countries as to what is happening globe, not only in the region, but globally. 
Uh, this year, we are gearing up in anticipation of the introduction of cholera into our member countries since it's now in the region. So a lot of preparation work for that. We are also preparing for a possible another wave of influenza pandemic, and we're not sure what the severity would be like. The history of Carrick started more than a half century ago with the creation of the Colonial Microbiological Research Institute in 1947. In 1953, the Rockefeller Foundation established the Trinidad Regional Virus Laboratory. That was a, a major, major impact. The, the, the Rockefeller Foundation was putting laboratories at the mouth of the major rivers of the world and uh, they decided to put the laboratory here as uh, collecting species from the valley of the uh, Orinoco. So after that happened in the late 60s and the program came to an end, uh, the, and Trinidad at that time had become independent, the, the Prime Minister of Trinidad, uh, uh, Dr. Eric Williams, um, uh, he invited the Pan American Health Organization to make use of this laboratory um, for the benefit of the people of the Caribbean. In October 1974, through a multilateral agreement signed by the governments of the Commonwealth Caribbean, the Pan American Health Organization became responsible for the structure and operation of what is known today as the Caribbean Epidemiology Center, CARAC. Well, the name of the workshop is uh, really twofold. It's uh, bio risk management for the laboratory and infectious substance shipping training workshop. And this workshop is actually a collaborative effort between the World Health Organization, PAHO, and CAREC. At CAREC, we are all about uh, assisting countries, uh, providing technical assistance, technical, technical cooperation, and this is just one facet of it. Uh, because we're trying to give countries uh, the tools that they need in order to operate within their own labs and also to build networks between the countries and CAREC. There is a very strong need here to certify laboratory personnel on the safe transport or shipment of infectious substances. First and foremost, the Staff Association is responsible for maintaining the rights of staff. It's also responsible for fostering a good work environment among staff, and particularly between staff and their supervisors. Recently, we've been doing a lot of work in terms of the transition of CARAC to CARFA, or the upcoming transition of CARAC to CARFA, ensuring that the rights and benefits and policies that we have enjoyed at as CAREC will also be enjoyed as CAFA. I think there is a, a good approach that's being taken both by PAHO and CARICOM in making this as smooth as a transition as possible, as well as supporting staff and their concerns with the transition. They have responded very well, remembering that the focus is on how do we offer best quality service to, our, to populations in the different countries. And so the staff has been able to, 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 to make such decisions on their own that in spite of what are personal urgencies, at the same time they can give off their best. The work of CAREC to the health and well-being of the Caribbean region is paramount, I think. I think we are extremely effective. Um, we provide a role that nobody else in the region does and a role that the smaller countries on their own can't provide for themselves. And as busy as that work may be, I would say that it's always very enjoyable because when you're in the field, you're close to what's happening and you're very close to being able to see the results of your work, the impact that your work is, ha is having. CAREC continues to reappraise how best to mobilize and apply resources in fulfillment of its Caribbean Cooperation and Health mission, which entails improving the health of Caribbean people 
by working with member countries to implement health promotion and disease prevention based on epidemiology and laboratory support for surveillance purposes.